What's up, y'all? It's Marion. Hey, let me fix this for you guys. All right, I'm at one of my spots, and I wanted to rap with you guys about scavenging. Um, I did this video on a couple of spots, um, and we're going to talk about food. Everything that I'm about to show you to make this meal was either bought very cheaply or scavenged. So, let's talk about it. I, I do a, you know, I walk about four to five miles a day. Um, and part of that walking is picking up cans and picking up resources that people just throw out of their cars that finance life for me. Um, so, I picked up some Chili Man. This was not scavenged. I actually bought this from the store. And I got some Reduce for quick sale uh, ground round uh, chuck steaks. Two dollars, three pieces of meat, maybe about a eh, pound and a half, or whatever. The expiration date was the 28th of January. Um, the the for sale by date was the 20th of January. Um, and then I'm at church on the weekends, so this sat in the refrigerator, on, and it kind of turned brown, but it didn't smell. One of the telltale signs for spoilage, y'all, is uh, smell is smell is scent. Um, if it smells spoiled, nine times out of ten, don't eat it. Um, also, um, so we're going to have a steak chili that would cost, per this huge serving that we're going to make, um, with the amount of meat we're going to put in here, um, it's going to cost you more at a restaurant. Um, these are our ingredients. We got three nice pieces of chuck steak. Uh, try to show this to you. Yep. I do this quickly. Garlic powder, crushed red pepper, oregano, basil, low sodium, sodium soy sauce, sriracha, just because I'm addicted to it. And we're not going to measure anything. We're not going to measure anything. We're just going to go and Take these ingredients, oh, and maybe a leveled off tablespoon of like shed spread country crock or whatever. Uh, you can use butter, you can use margarine, you can use whatever type of um, oil, or you can use olive oil, it doesn't matter. Uh, we just need some type of oil. Um, we already threw it in our skillet. Uh, I'm on a laptop, so I'm gonna just pick you guys up and bada bing, bada boom. Put a little butter in the skillet. Turn the power on the electric stove. The electric stoves tend to run hot. So we put that in there really cheaply. Scavenged butcher knife. Looks like it's full tang. Nice blade. Uh, for your wilderness, for my wilderness friends, I don't think it's an old hickory. But it's cutting through this steak pretty good. And you want to cut the steak up into pieces that are like so. Pieces that are like so. So not so thin. Um, not so thin that they like, you know, fry on you. You know. But something that's going to give some health, heft to the chip. And this is very simple. I'm by no means a chef, but you don't have to be to eat good. Again, two dollars worth of meat. Now, you guys know that, like, unless you are fortunate to hunt. And I hunted this year and didn't see a deer. I really wish this was some venison. But I'm grateful for what I got. Two dollars, not bad at all. For three okay sized pieces of meat. You know, somebody didn't get to eat meat today. That one. So um, so what we got is this. The butter's about to burn a little bit. We throw our we throw our steak. 
And it's very simple. This is so simple. We throw our steak in a cast iron skillet with some butter. I turn this down. Turn the vent on. Meat. A little fat. You know, butter, olive oil, it doesn't matter. As long as it's a fat. Chuck steak tends to be a little bit lean. You know, the fat is just good because it adds flavor. I throw a little oregano in there. I'm not measuring, I'm just throwing it in there. A little crushed red pepper. I'm not measuring. It's just in there. Okay, making sure y'all still recording good. Some basil. There's very little left, so all of it goes in there. I'm gonna let this cook down or whatever. Now you could have marinated this stuff in the seasonings ahead of time, and it would taste much, much, much better. But you don't have to. Garlic powder, a little bit. Kyokumin soy sauce, a little bit. Real sriracha, a little bit. It seems like I'm squeezing a lot, but because I'm addicted to sriracha, that's almost empty. Now, so what happens is that gets brown. As you can tell, um, I had the heat turned up on purpose because I just wanted to sear. I wanted to get brown real quick. Then. Give that five to ten minutes. We get that five to ten minutes, and then we take our chili man that's got the beans in it, and we throw that in the skillet and put a top on it. Put it on low, let it basically slow cook for shoot 30 minutes. As long as the meat is completely thoroughly cooked, then you got some really good tasting chili. The chili already has chili seasonings. So, oh, by the way, it's about time, but I'm gonna grab an onion that somebody let me pick off of them a while ago. I never really use a full onion, so it goes in the freezer. And the great thing about frozen stuff, slice is real easy. Well, yeah. Okay, here we go. And then the key with freezing an onion is that when you cut onion or frozen fish, you get these real thin slices. Reminiscent of what you get when you do sushi. So like doing it that way, I just get enough onion to add some flavor. Take the onion, throw it in the pot. So that's basically it. You can go and for very little money, a can of chili, some reduced um, for quick sale steak, and some seasonings. Now, none of these seasonings are high dollar. Oh, let me show you a trick. When you go to the do go to the dollar store, or the same way you get your reduced for quick sale meat, get seasonings past their expiration date. The seasons really don't expire. They don't go bad. 
they just lose some of their punch unless water gets to them or animals or rodents or whatever but that's different but that's how you do that you know you just basically take the seasonings and the onions and the steak and you put it in there um, throw this over chili throw this over rice with broccoli um, if you a couple of ingredients it's only a couple of ingredients different between like four different recipes with the same stuff if you add more ginger and you use rice and broccoli then you have beef and broccoli if you add some cilantro or you get the tomatoes that are in the can that already have the Mexican flavor, Rotel flavors, you can stuff tacos with it. I mean, it's so much versatility, so much versatility. So I'm not a chef, just showing you how scavenged and extremely low cost items, you can eat good on $500 a year. God will do it. Love y'all. I'm out of here.